<laughs> Hello everyone, BNH247 here. Welcome to I Can't Believe It's Not Gambling. The game that simulates gambling with loot boxes and microtransactions. Now this game was created after the Battlefront 2 fiasco and I'm sure there might have been spawn-offs for the other game, Shadow War. Uh, everybody you know, knows about Overwatch and things like that, but mainly single-player games. Mainly single-player games where people do not want this to exist. So, I'm going to be doing a speedrun of this game, basically, you know, how to ruin your life, but, you know, speedrun of I can't believe it's not gambling. Uh, the only way to really define a category for this game is to pretty much just reach the last tier of the loot boxes, which is treasure or 10 million. Uh, I don't feel like I'm going to be doing more than one run of this just because it's, you know, it's, it's a meme game. So, however, I would encourage other people to do a run of it so, you know, it will help with racing awareness, and I would think it'd be absolutely hilarious to see the speedrun page have like a thousand users or something crazy like that. So without further ado, I'll show you the game real quick before getting started. Now when you look at this, uh, you're going to notice there's trash tier, there's cardboard tier, crate, presents, ship. Enemu and treasure. So again, this is a 10,000 K or 10 million. And again, you have to reach a certain amount to be able to unlock each new tier. And each new tier, you acquire the currency a lot faster. So we start with 30 on a fresh save file. Uh, so rather than, you know, opening any boxes, it'd just be better to continuously play the centipede game over and over so without further ado let's get this started time is gonna start as soon as i click into it and it's gonna stop as soon as i reach the 10 million so here we go as you can see you got little little loot boxes that we're collecting here and we're uh we're a uh we're a retarded whale sorry if you hate the word retarded get over it um, basically, you, for some of the tiers, you want to try and keep the chain going as long as possible to acquire the uh, currency faster, but there's some, some tiers where it's just not, it's not the greatest to keep a long chain going, so you just want to end it. Uh, so we're at 42 right now, to get to the next tier, we're, uh, we need to get to 100. Basically, from when I did the little casual playthrough of this to getting the treasure tier, you get about 12, 12 currency per, uh, pretty much when, you, when you're about to get fucked and you're going to collapse upon yourself. Now, an interesting to note about this, uh, the centipede game in this game is that you can't, you can't treat it like a traditional centipede game. You have to allow one extra, uh, Tile, I guess you could say one extra tile of movement. Otherwise, they'll hit each other So instead of doing, you know, a 1-1 turn you actually have to do a, a one Or how else would I describe it? Basically, you just got to move two tiles over so you don't end up uh, collapsing on yourself so again averaging 12 here and the amount of time between tiers is pretty much about the same. Uh, some of them are actually a little bit faster than the others. You would think the first tier would be the fastest, but uh, I don't believe it is. I didn't time each tier, and I'm not really going to run any splits while doing this, so it's pretty much just going to be uh, a general race till last tier, just to kind of get the uh, speedruns of this game going. I believe right now we actually have 15 currency, so that's 24. Now let's 
gonna... I'm just... I know I probably should have ended this chain a while back, but, you know, it's... It's, uh... This is the longest I've ever been able to keep it. So we got 28 there, 82. We need 18. So we need to pay attention to that, uh... The bar on the top left. Uh, just see how much that we're gonna get. So right now we have one. Uh, now we have four. We need 18. And it's RNG and where these loot boxes spawn. So now we have six. Got a ton of boxes spawn. Now we have 12. Fifteen. I'm just gonna go ahead and end it. Okay, so we need three more. So we just need to wait until we see... A little bit more. Okay, I believe that's it. That's gonna give us four. There we go, okay. So now we're moving on to the next tier. And we had to get a hundred, and now we have to get a thousand. So, sorry, twelve. And you can see, you can see that you acquire currency a lot faster to uh, accommodate each tier. So that way, it's not a ridiculous grind. Ironic, right? <laughs> so, uh, some of the comments I was kind of reading, and I, I'll, I'll start reading some of them after this. Uh, after this run, is that, you know, people uh, actually acquire currency so much faster in in-game instead of, uh, you know, through the loot box system, so, you know, they uh, actually feel like they earned it, which is, which is kind of wrong, you know? Uh, we should, should rather have a, you know, an RNG system where you, uh, you know, waste a bunch of, you know, money and time and, you know, never actually get the item that you want. Okay, so that was 162, so we're needing about 750 more, but of course we're not going to get that in a single run. So uh, I guess what I haven't covered, uh, so when you collect enough letters and the things that basically aren't the actual boxes, you unlock like a, a certain item that makes more of them spawn, so that does play into uh, being able to collect the score faster. Uh, basically at the later tiers, whenever you see a heart, is uh, a good time to get excited because that's uh, it's going to spawn a whole bunch of them. So when, when you get to the later tiers, the map changes a little bit. Uh, you get different portals or just obstacles in the way, so it makes it, you know, just a a little bit more interesting. Uh, you do have to go for the uh, the extra letters and things, even though they don't actually give you currency. You still gotta go from so more things spawn. So okay, so we're we're doing uh, we're doing decently here. Let's see if we can keep this going. We're gonna have to start using centipede tactics, but um, again. This game, you can't treat it like traditional centipede just because you gotta space an extra tile. Because you will you will kill yourself if you try to use traditional centipede tactics. Depending on the shapes that you're you know riding in between. Alright, 248, 587. Yeah, so depending on the shapes that you're riding in between uh, will determine if you get hit or not if you're trying to do uh, a 1-1 one -one collapse, or a 1-tile collapse. Because if you play a traditional centipede, a lot of times it, you know, it's for an average person that's just picking up the game, it can be pretty difficult to do a 1-1 a one -one turnaround. But this game, again, as I've been saying, it just does not really encourage that at all. So, okay, 707. So basically, we need 
uh, about three more runs, or maybe one or two good ones. It depends. Uh, another thing to note is that uh, each game bleeds into the next one, meaning that if you have uh, certain things on the map left over, it'll remain in the next file. So if you feel like you're about to die, uh, you don't have to worry as much. Just try and run into the uh, other collectibles so that it'll spawn in the next round and give you a head start. Go. We got another hundred there, and I'm not too worried about building up a massive chain on some of these because you can get uh, good chunks really quick, uh, depending on the RNG of what and where it spawns. So basically, we need about like 170, or I might cut uh, a run short. I don't, I don't know what I would call it. Yeah, session. I'll call it a session. Cut a session short. So right now it's kind of, you know, taking a bit of time to get some of these. So we're at 150. We need about 180. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that. So we need five. About one more there. Right, go kill it. That's six. We have a thousand. On to the next tier. So this is where you're going to see the portal mechanics. So if you go through the portal, based on uh, whatever direction you go in it at, is how you're going to come out of it. So if I go from the bottom, I'm going to come out uh, going, I guess, north, you could say. So if I, if I go in north from the blue one, I'm going to come out north in the orange one. I believe that'd be the best way of describing it. All right, so. I took a little bit of a chance there uh, with doing a 1-1 one, one turn. Uh, and the portals can kind of mess you up there, so we're we're going to uh, 10,000 this time. So that was, a, that was an okay run, or okay session there. Uh, can do a little bit better, because uh, this map is a bit more lenient. But you don't want to waste too much time, because once you start collecting too many blocks, you are going to have to take really uh, convoluted routes. So I go ahead and uh, went ahead and ended that there, because I wasn't getting too many spawns. And I was having to do too many uh, wide turns. Four thousand. That was a mistake, but I actually didn't know you could do an infinite loop. I never tried, but I guess you can there. So now we know. Also want to be careful with uh, how you turn around these portals here. Uh, the same with you want to keep your uh, your movement spaced whenever you can. Uh, it applies to the portals as well. All right, so 5,800, still on the way to 10k. few more sessions and we're going to be moving into the next tier. So basically, as far as the speedrun aspect goes, this just means you got to get really good at uh, centipede and know what and when. Pretty much you, you need to know when you want to cut your, your session so that you're not wasting too much time. So we're at 7100. But sometimes the long chains, from what I've seen, can be worth it. It just depends. 
depends on how many of the uh, spawn, uh, extra uh, spawns you get, the, the letters that end up spawning more chests. So as you can see, right there, I did a 1-1 turn and I still died just because uh, by, it goes by the, the hitboxes are based on the shapes of whatever's following. And they, uh, I'm not sure why, maybe they get, maybe they're broken, maybe they get slightly bigger depending on how big the chain is, but eventually it's just suicide if you do uh, too much of a 1-1 turn. Okay, so we just reached 10k. That's actually a good point. Uh, so now, so if we just went from the 10, I believe the next one is 100k. Uh, we'll find out as soon as we uh, end this session, wherever we die at or intentionally die at. Okay, so yeah, it is 100k. So we are at 12 right now. So we have three tiers left. This is a uh, 100k. Next one's gonna be 1 million, and then after that, it's gonna be 10 million. As soon as we hit the 10 million, that is gonna be time. But until then, I'm gonna give uh, some some more useless commentary for this uh, meme run, meme video. We're just bringing more awareness to why microtransactions need to die, why they need to stop. I appreciate more people running the game or leaving comments on this video but you know, most likely this video could get overlooked I don't know maybe it'll be a meme sensation who knows all right so at least for this tier probably should be averaging about 10k per uh, I don't find the portals to really be all too useful on this one just because of the, the nature of the spawns. Sometimes, you know, I, it looks like I can use it, maybe it'll be a bit faster, but other times, not as much. All right, so we're at 30K. So, as you can see, doing the 1-1 one -one turns still dangerous. Uh, I'm trying to avoid them, but I'm getting a little bit greedy on the collection. I'm trying to see if I can build up a uh, quick chain super fast so that I can uh, potentially get a long one that'll, uh, you know, double the score. But. The, again, the hitboxes on this game are so weird. It's like tripping me up because I'm used to traditional centipede where you can do those tight turns and in this game you can't. You gotta take a lot of wider turns even though uh, that in itself means that you can't play the game uh, precisely or properly. But you know, again, this is a meme game so not really uh, out to complain about mechanics. We're just here to uh, support the cause. So, okay, so it looks like we're on a, a much better chain this time. Should start uh, taking some paths here so that I can uh, successfully acquire. There we go. That's a nice 15k buildup. I'm gonna go ahead and break it there though.
So another thing I've noticed about uh, playing the centipede game is that you can actually pick up a certain box or letter and insta-die for no apparent reason. Not entirely sure how or why, but it does happen. Uh, my guess is that the when it spawns in uh, a new part of the tail, it it might have something to do with where you hit you hit where it spawns at, or uh, yeah, that, that's basically what I'm thinking it might be. Is that uh, it thinks that the object that you're picking up is solid and therefore killing you, but. So far I haven't run into that issue during this session, or this run. <laughs> to, to one and done run. This game was 90 cents. I found a dollar on the sidewalk. I'm good to go. Yes, that was a good spot to end at. So we need 15k right now. So... A long chain would save us some time here, or two quick short ones. Okay, 14k. That was definitely a mistake. So you can see that, realistically, I shouldn't have been able to pick up all those items at once, but again, the hitboxes are disjointed. Uh, you can't do 1-1 one -one turns. So... You gotta play by this game's rules. Be a little bit safe. So, so we need 14k. right there. Probably should end this chain soon. Alright, so we actually, that was actually a really perfect place to stop there. Alright, so we on to the ship tier. Uh, now this tier is a little bit tricky. It, it tends to throw me off with entering and exiting the portals. So you gotta be careful because uh, as I was saying earlier, the direction that you enter. Hey, okay, there we go. There we go, right there. Uh, so we're on our way to a million. Uh, that's what I was talking about, where you pick one up and you instantly die. Uh, I believe, yeah, I believe this is the level that I saw it happening on the most. So I guess it just depends on uh, the shape of whatever you pick up and then how it attaches to the tail. Maybe I could just be completely retarded and be missing something, but uh, otherwise I am not sure why it's happening. So, okay. Want to try and get a bit of uh, some longer chains here, but again, this level is a bit tricky. And that glitch is kind of uh, killing some sessions here. So, heart is going to spawn a shit ton, so that's good. That was actually some game like there. And again right there. I wonder what it could be causing that. I don't know if that's that's native or maybe I I have no, something running my background. Some virus program or something. Alright, so 278. Bad one. I was really, I'm really good at the normal centipede, but this one uh, is just throwing me off.
Yo. Alright, so we're at 410. Not the best runs here. Or sessions. Yeah, that that makes more sense to me. Uh, trying to go through the portal as one's coming through, that would make sense why you would die there. So again, uh, I don't really, I truly don't believe there's too much of a time penalty for starting over, as far as uh, the speedrun goes because the RNG of the spawn boxes can just vary. You might get a bunch of uh, letter spawns in a row, and while it does make a bunch of box spawn later, uh, it's not always the case. It might not spawn as many boxes, thus making it not very worth it. So uh, I guess it's hard to explain that you're, you're trying to uh, make a calculated guess based on the RNG. 500k, so we need 500 more. And like pretty much just as you're even doing the sessions themselves, it like you could just saw right there that I, I ran into four like immediately. So it's 76. Heart actually stays. Although now that I think about it, uh, I maybe the turning is uh, not not tile locked. It might just be direction. Maybe I'm just so used to the traditional centipede that I'm not thinking of it that way. I think that's what it may be. It's not it's not tile locked. Alright, so we need 134. We just get two quick sessions. I see something that looks like it's going to equal 70k twice. Alright, so we need uh, 78. So we just need one decent session. Off. Okay, there we go. Alright, so now we're on to the Animu. 
So now we are we are on the way. We are on the way to the 10 million grind, which is going to be the end of the run, end of the meme for raising awareness of uh, stopping microtransactions and you know playing your part to uh, not necessarily boycott, but be aware and make good decisions with making purchases in games. Uh, but I know a lot of people are uh, kind of boycotted Battlefront 2 not buying it because they didn't want to deal with the microtransactions. Now that was uh, that was I mean, more of a multiplayer game but again the pay to win just heavily heavily hated. Uh, it's it's all right if you have something like that with cosmetics but it affects the actual gameplay, then it just kind of makes the purchase feel a bit invalidated. Uh, okay, it's 27. We're looking to see to get that at a uh, 10,000. 10,000k. Oh my god, bad. It's just funny because, like, even. Let's say like I play poorly. Sometimes I could just get such good RNG where I almost it's almost better that I messed up just because of the uh, collection speed. And try and take collecting these a bit more serious since I'm almost done. Let's see, let's, uh, let's see if we can go for a try-hard chain here. Yeah, damn. So if I saw that right, it was like three something. Okay, so we're we're still a little bit off. That wasn't very try-hard, but. Uh, I didn't really sleep yet, so I'm not too worried about it. I'm more focused on just getting this finished. gonna be done looking at the timer and kill myself only 30 minutes so it's not gonna be too long of a run Of doing a 1-1 one -one turn like that and living. Alright, 3,000 more K. Oh, wow. Interesting. Didn't... Normally something like that wouldn't kill you. Not sure what caused that one.
could have did that better. But the uh yeah, I love those spawns are just getting spaced out and wasting a bunch of time. Yeah, that was my bad though. I needed to keep that one going. Very strange death there. It's almost like you don't want to pick too many up at once. We made it. There we go. I get it. All right. 34 minutes and 36 seconds. What will your time be? I challenge you to beat it. It shouldn't be too difficult. So that was the speed run for, I can't believe it's not gambling. And it, <laughs> It wouldn't be uh, a meme unless we open at least one box. Notice the laugh that you heard. So, we're actually gonna sell all these so we can obtain most of the money. And I'm gonna show you kinda uh, how this game is. So, we open up a little trash box. So, you know, let's keep all these. Uh, you basically have skins. And little hats. Now that, you know, just cosmetic items. So you can see that I equipped the yellow skin and the hat. And, you know, each different tier has its own thing. Basically, you would want to collect them all. Man, did I actually clip that? Yeah. Yeah. So you can see. You have the, the different little things here. It's the, these actually look kind of like... <laughs> they, they are Dragon Balls. Oh, that's funny. What the heck is this one? There's like a little bandana or something on it. Alright, and there you have it. Let's see if we can uh, raise awareness, maybe generate interest in people running this game. It'll be a free world record to somebody. Uh, or another speedrun to their uh, amount of speedruns that they've completed. But uh, thanks for watching. You know, I appreciate if you share the video on whatever site, trying to get more people to. Uh, play this game and uh you didn't hear from me but you can play the game speed run it and refund it in under two hours you didn't hear from me <laughs> all right see you later